A magnitude of 6.6 .6 earthquake on Wednesday has renewed attention to the seismic resistance on buildings around Taiwan. According to a former Central Weather Bureau official, buildings with fewer than seven stories tend to be more damaged in bigger southern jots. But according to a civil engineer, the height of the building does not matter as much as its age, especially if it was built before building codes got stricter. Following Wednesday's 6.6 .6 earthquake in Hualien, aftershocks continue to shake Taiwan. In a social media post on Friday, former Central Weather Bureau Director General Xin Zaitin argued that buildings with up to seven floors are more easily damaged in sudden strong earthquake. He compared the situation to small vessels in rough seas, which capsize more easily than larger vessels. But one civil engineer in Taipei says the size of the building is not the main factor to watch out for. It might be because those are all older structures. For example, buildings built before the 1999 GG earthquake were all built according to the regulations established before the earthquake. Back then, the regulations weren't as strict as they are now, so they are at a greater risk of damage from earthquakes. Commenting on Taipei specifically, the former CWB official said that since the city is in a basin where the geological makeup is weaker, the effect of earthquakes is amplified and their duration is lengthened. The shaking is especially magnified in taller buildings when the resonance of the earthquake matches the natural oscillation of the structure. From past experience, the earthquake's resonance often matches that of floors between the 10th and 15th floor, roughly around the 12th floor. When the resonances match, you get the greatest degree of oscillation. The former CWB official said that although large buildings are generally safe, they can be compromised in an earthquake if built on geographically weaker land and in cases of soil liquefaction.